Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League One predictions. League One obviously due to the international break didn't go um, full games ahead. We will be catch up games obviously later on in the season. Um, there are um, obviously a couple of things missing, obviously not planned um, when I talk about these results. Um, one more thing before I get um, started, I am on the road to a thousand subs. Um, my goal at the end of the season, and I, none of you have heard it yet because I ain't told you, because I wanted to get to a certain point to see if it can actually be done first. Um, but I'm over 600 subscribers. Now, my aim was at the start of this very first week of the season is to get to a thousand subs come May. Um, guys, share my, uh, share my videos. Um, you know, let's try and get to a thousand subs together um, on this channel. Um, it'd be a huge thank you for me if we do achieve that. Um, obviously we've got a Christmas period coming up and we've got loads of, you know, loads of football still to go. So if you can share my videos, give us a big fat thumbs up as well. Um, let's see if we get to a thousand subs come May and then there's a special video for you. Um, but you need to get, we need to get to a thousand subs first before that special video is released. Um, but anyway guys, you know what to do, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to kick off with is Lincoln versus Shrewsbury. Lincoln losing 2-0 away to Peaceborough. And Shrewsbury are one of the games that did not play. Um, my guess is they're supposed to play um, Berry, but obviously we all know what happened to them, so that's what I'm guessing. Um, a few guys have been called off and I'll talk to you about them when we get down to them. Um, but Lincoln, a very disappointing day at the office. Um, I think they won the weekend before. Um, to, I can't remember where they beat. Um, but, you know, a very disappointing day for Lincoln. Considering tries we didn't play... I've gone for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Tramia versus South End. Tramia beating Coventry 1 0 at St Andrews. Obviously, Crawley have not got a home this season for whatever reason. Um, you know, with. I don't know what the main problem is. I'm not going to try and pretend that I know because I don't. Um, South End loses 4 1 at home to AFC Wimbledon. I think Tramia were very lucky to get that three points. I watched the game live on Sky. Um, and I at least think Coventry deserve a point out of that game. Obviously, it didn't happen, so you know, move, we got, you got to move on. Um, South End, disappointing day. At home to AFC Wimbledon. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Tramiel win for that one. My next one is AFC Wimbledon versus Port, uh, Portsmouth. Just as you mentioned, AFC Wimbledon, 4 1 winners away to South End. Portsmouth, 0 0 at home to Gillingham. Um, disappointing day. On the fact for Portsmouth, they're at home, um, and I know they're sort of okay at home, um, but a disappointing day none of the wiser. Um, Wimbledon, great day away at South End. Um, you know it's not easy. Plan week in week out like some of these clubs are doing, um, but as far as that one goes, I'll go for a two-one Portsmouth win. 
My next one is Bolton versus Rochdale. Rochdale beating Akukun Stanley 2-1 at home. Bolton game postponed and has supposed to play Burton Albion international call-ups. Um, obviously I can't talk about the Bolton game obviously because it didn't happen. Good three points for Rochdale. Bolton to the table clash ish um, but you know great three points for Rochdale um, but as far as this game goes I'm going to give it to the Lancashire side and I'll go for a 2-0 Bolton win my next one is Doncaster versus Bristol Rovers Bristol Rovers Beating MK Dons 1-0 at home. Doncaster losing 3-0 away from home against Oxford. Great three points for Bristol Rovers. Um, you know, uh, let's not um, knock Bristol Rovers' result for that. I know MK Dons can be hard to play so to get three points the only advantage that Bristol Rovers had was they were at home but a very disappointing day for Doncaster three nil losers away to Oxford um, but as far as that result goes I'll go for a 3-1 Bristol Rovers win my next one is Fleetwood versus Burton Albion Burton Albion did not play, I suppose played Bolton at home, didn't happen. Um, Fleet, same for Fleetwood actually, um, game postponed, international called up, they were supposed to play Sunderland away. So I can't talk about none of them games, can't talk about what the points do for the club. So I'm just going to give you the result. And I've gone for a 2-0 Fleetwood win. My next one is Gillingham versus Peterborough. Chillingham 0-0 away to Portsmouth. Peterborough beating Lincoln City 2-0 at home. Great three points for Peterborough. Um, you know, great point for Chillingham as well. Away to Portsmouth. Um, going into the weekend, I'm guessing Peterborough will be the more confident side going up against Chillingham. So for this game, I've gone for a 2-1 Peterborough United win. My next one is MK Dons versus Coventry. Uh, Coventry losing 1-0 at uh, not at home, because they weren't at home. Losing 1-0 at St Andrews to Tramia. MK Dons losing 1-0 away to Bristol Rovers. Both teams are looking, you know, a defeat on the previous weekend for both clubs. As I said, I think Coventry were very, very unlucky not to get the point or the three points um, against Tramia. I watched that game and when Tramia scored, I did feel a bit sorry for Coventry City. Don't ask me why. Um, I just think Coventry probably deserved at least a point at least, but it didn't happen. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a Coventry City win of a 3-0 Coventry City win. My next one is Rotherham versus Oxford. Oxford beating Doncaster 3-0 at home. Great result for Oxford. Rotherham... Beating Blackpool 2-1 away from home. Great three points for Rotherham as well. Um, going into the weekend. I don't know. I suppose you say Rotherham be the more confident side. Um, the more trustier result. No disrespect to Bristol. Uh, not Bristol Rovers. Doncaster Rovers. Sorry. Um, but both teams going in this game with a win on the previous weekend. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Wickham Wanderers versus Sunderland. 
Sunderland game postponed, um, international call ups, and Wickham didn't play. So um, I'm guessing um, Wickham fans, if you do know why the main reason you didn't play them, please feel free to put it down in the comments below. But I'm guessing uh, a game postponed due to the team you're supposed to play um, international call-ups. That's all I can roughly think. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 2-0 Wickham Wanderers win. My last one for this weekend is Akukun Stanley versus Itchridge. Akukun Stanley losing 2-1 away to Rochdale. Itchridge didn't play um, and I'm guessing again for international call-ups. But because I can only talk about the African Stanley result on the African Stanley point of view, I'm going to talk about that result just a little bit and just say a disappointing day at the office for African Stanley. I think I had a point for that game anyway um, when I predicted it. Um, but as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 4 0 Itrish Town win. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what to do. It's a big fat fun if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.